Hi Virgo. Welcome to your December 2019 monthly reading. For those of you who have are coming back, thank you so much for all your support, your love, the the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Any way you help my channel, I greatly appreciate it and I just love you Virgo. <laughs> I really do. I have a bunch of Virgo friends. I love you. All right. So, um if you're new, my name is Raquel, and if you're a cross, cross watcher, you're welcome here as well. So you're both welcome, the newbies and the cross watchers. Um, <laughs> this is going, like I said, this is going to be a reading, a general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will not apply to every single Virgo out there. Um, this is the most needed messages only so take what resonates with you some of this might resonate some of it might not um whatever if it does not resonate at all please go check out your other sign videos located here on my channel um these are energies that i'm reading so you can spot them out vice versa if i say this is you or if i say this is them you can always put you in them shoes and them in your shoes and blah blah you know what I mean. <laughs> um, also, never give your power up to a reader. Okay. You and you alone are responsible for the decisions that you make. Um, the future is not set in stone. You can always change the outcome because we have free will. This is just one outcome, one possible outcome on your journey of life. Okay. So I hope this reading provides some type of guidance for you and we are going to get into it now. I'm going to give you an overall message. Also, I would like to tell you that Virgo, when I was getting into your energy, I heard, come on, you can do it. Um, now, I don't know if that was you encouraging someone around you or someone encouraging you. So I feel like whatever it is, it's this, it's this energy of encouragement is what I'm getting. So you might be having a lot of encouragement in the month of December or might be having a lot or having to encourage someone a lot in December. So however that resonates with you. Like I said, I read energies. I don't read specific people. All right. So my guys, my soul family, what's going on with Virgo? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. What is the main message here for Virgo? Believe strange encounters. Ooh. Okay, Virgo. So yeah, you know, this goes right along with the download that I got um for you with the believe. Okay, it's encouragement. It's um I feel like this is somebody encouraging you. And I don't know why, and I never saw it before, but I see a horse here. I see a horse here. Maybe some of you are betting on horses or some of you own horses, but this horse is sticking out. And so is that, so is that, that, um, that it's a unicorn, the horn, strange encounters. Oh, Virgo. Okay, so you're getting some types of spiritual messages or spiritual downloads throughout throughout December. Like how I get spiritual downloads. Some of you might be getting a lot of spiritual downloads. And it's like, it's kind of strange. It's kind of out of the box for you. And you don't know what to do with these. And I feel like there's somebody encouraging you to... Um, to really dig deep into these messages and these intuitive hits that you're getting. And I just noticed the crown as well. So a lot of you, and, and I'm noticing the blue, your crown chakra, your crown chakra is going to be highly open in December. 
Okay, so whatever strange encounters that you come across, whatever, you know, strange visions, maybe some of you are getting a lot of prophetic dreams. Um, some of you might want to look up meaning of horses as well, because, um, you know, each animal has their own meaning. With the horse, I feel like it's freedom. I'm really getting that like freedom hit. And I feel like, I feel like it's almost euphoric to you. For some of you, you've been wanting this for a while. For others of you, it's like it just comes out of nowhere. And I I heard you can do it. So I feel like it's spirit encouraging you from the other side saying, yes, you can do this. Dive into it. See where this takes you. Okay, you're going to be getting a lot of intuitive hits. And I'll, I feel like visions in dreams, but also... Maybe just like walking down the street, you get like a picture in your head of like something that that is going to happen or something that's something along that nature. And then it happens like a little bit later. Um, but yeah. Wow. That's good, Virgo. You can do it. <laughs> Tap into your crown chakra. We all have the power to. We all have the power to. Some of us have just been practicing longer. Alrighty. So let's see what this December holds for you. Spirit, my guides, what is in the cards for Virgo this December? What can Virgo, what is the main message for Virgo? What does this believe about? Please and thank you, my soul family. Yeah, I feel like you're entering unknown territory and it's like you're afraid to, you're afraid that, you know, some of you might doubt what you're hearing or what you're seeing and spirit saying, no, believe, believe in these strange encounters. They are real. All right. So your overall energy is the king of wands. So yeah, this is a spiritual card. This is about spirituality. This is about you um, uh, diving into that creative passion, that creativity, you know, a lot of you, you might be getting intuitive, creative messages as well. Um, some of you might, um, be getting hits on, you need to travel, um, as well. You might like get a hit on some type of like traveling, like it's not good to go this day. So we'll go this day is what I'm getting. Um, but this is you being fun and carefree about it. This is you really embracing it and having a good time with it. Wow. All right. So the first two weeks of December, the first of the, you know, the first half of the month here, we've got the two of wands. So it's knowing the direction you want to go in, but having a hard time taking steps to get there. I feel like with this card, this is where you're stuck. You know where you want to go, but it's like you can't make that decision to go down that path yet for whatever reason there may be there. Um, but it's it's really, it's it's about you needing to venture out and make that decision. And then we got the Six of Swords. And yeah, and you know, with the King of Wands and the Two of Wands and then the Six of Swords, I'm seeing travel and then the and then the um, horse right there. I'm seeing travel all over this board. Some of you really need to go on a vacation or or travel travel somewhere. I feel like this is what's going to spark your crown chakra. This is what's going to get you going. This is what's going to give you vision. This is what's going to help you uh, further move along. Then we've got the page of pentacles. So this is like a fresh new start. Um, something coming in for you. This could be you moving, making a physical move to a new house, um, or just physically moving on and starting a whole new tangible cycle for yourself. What's influencing the two of wands is the eight of pentacles. So you've been working really hard. You've been working extremely hard at this Virgo. You have been, um, I feel like you know where you want to go. And no matter how hard you work, it's like you still get set back with it. 
It's like you want to move on, you're working hard to move on to make that choice, but something always comes along and messes it up. Queen of Wands. Lots of wands here. You might be surrounded by a fire energy. Could be a Leo. Um, this is an Aries. So this is really you standing out, bold, confident, taking control. Having that confidence to move forward, to move on within the middle of December here. And then we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So what this is telling me, it's saying that Virgo, in the past, you've been so caring, so giving, so kind to the people in your environment. And I feel like you've been giving too much and not getting enough reward or them not giving you enough back. Okay. Um, it's good to give without expectation because that is good for the soul, but you can't do that all the time. And I feel like you were doing that all the time. So now you are moving into the space where you've got this new beginning. And it's like, nope, I'm not sharing it. I'm not sharing it. I finally learned my lesson and I'm not sharing it. I'm keeping it to myself. This is my thing. This is for me and nobody else can have it. And that's good, Virgo. That's good. That's very good. You can do it. You can you can move on. You I really feel like this is travel. Like you're and I feel like some of you have been getting that hit that you need to travel. You need to go somewhere in order for life to turn around or turn a new leaf. Let's see what these four energies right here, um, how they connect spirit. All right, so we have the Six of Cups. So this could be children. This could be... Um, a soulmate, this could be somebody from your childhood returning back. I'm really looking at that cat right now. That cat is really jumping out at me. So something involving a cat here. I don't know what that download is referring to, but um, maybe pay attention. If you see a cat, um, see where the cat's going. You know what's funny is I look down here and I see the mouse looking up at the cat and it's like the mouse is like, ha, 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 you can't get me. I'm on a different car. Da, na, 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 na. So I feel like with you, maybe this cat is somebody looking at you, somebody like stalking you, but not in a creepy way, but like looking at you, wishing that they had what you had, okay, or what you have, but it's like they can't touch you because <laughs> Because you have it all. You have that gumption. You have that hard work. You have that love. You are a Virgo. And it's like they cannot take your energy. All right? They cannot embody you. But it looks like they are watching you. Like they want to. Um, they probably, they're not going to be able to. Because you're on a different level. You're vibrating on a different level. Especially with this crown chakra and that and that unicorn there. Um for some of you, this is gaining confidence in your inner abilities, in your inner child. Um, ever, All of us have an inner child that tells us what is joyful for us, what we love. That's our inner child, right? And it's like you're confident in your inner child's voice, but you're afraid to let that inner child have its voice. You're confident that it knows what it's talking about, but you're afraid to let it out. You need to let it out in order to make this decision to move on here. And I feel like for some of you, it's a family move. It's not just you moving on. It's like a family move. All right, let's see how these four connect here for Virgo. King of Pentacles in reverse, this is the card of Taurus. So this is in reverse here. And what this is saying to me is that there might be somebody in your energy field, doesn't have to be a Taurus, um, could be an Aries, um, but there's somebody in your energy field that doubts your abilities, that doesn't have the same 
determination and drive, okay? They don't have the same determination and drive as you. They are not on the same level as you, okay? But I feel like you've given this person a lot or you've given a lot to this situation, but it's like the drive is gone, the determination is gone. And you know, for some of you, I don't feel like this is a person. I just feel like it's your energy like feeling low, like your drive is gone, your determination is gone. Where it was positive and happy right here, now it's gone right here. And I feel like the reason why that is, is because you have this little person this person that's watching you sucking the energy out of you. It could be a child or it could be a friend or family member or somebody around your environment that is like kind of looking at you with envy and is kind of like a psychic vampire. So they're like um, sucking sucking the energy out of you and that's why they're telling you, you you need to travel, you need to go away, take some time away from this person, travel somewhere. Um, where this person is not going to be so then that way you can get your drive and determination back They you know with the download it said you got this Virgo You got this and I think that's what you need to remember when you're when you have low determination and low drive come the end of December All right, so let's get a moon message for you Virgo Spirits, my guides, what moon message do we have for Virgo? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for December 2019. Please and thank you, my soul family. What moon message do we have for Virgo? Sometimes they take a minute. Denial. Okay, yeah, so... With the denial card here, I feel like there's some person, and I feel like it's this cat-like person. This person might have cat-like features. This person might do cat-like behaviors, um, might be there one minute um, when they need something, but then when you need something, they're gone. You know what I mean? It's They got that cat-like that cat-like energy or that cat-like behavior, like that secretly stalking you on social media or that, you know, um, just watching you in envy of you, of what you have, okay? And I feel like maybe you have felt this, you know this, right? But you're denying it. You're denying it for whatever reason. There's something you're denying here. With the four and the five, this is the challenge, right? It's um, having to figure out who that person is for one. And for two, um, you know, just let your intuition lead you to that person. Because I feel like there's somebody that's a psychic vampire here that's sucking the life out of you. All right? Point blank. So you need to... <laughs> You need to really ask your intuition. And I feel like it's somebody that might have been involved in your, it could be somebody that's involved with your children, or it could be somebody that's involved from your childhood, somebody that you've known for a really long time. Maybe you knew them in a past life as well. But they are really sucking the energy out of you. But you keep denying it because um, this person, you feel a deep soul connection with them. All right? Now, it could be that, and you know, the Six of Cups is sitting right on top of this Queen of Wands, which is Aries-like energy. So if there's an Aries around you that is like that, that is kind of sneaky like that, that has that cat-like behavior, you know who it is. Um, not saying... You might want to investigate it first. Listen to your intuition. Always listen to your intuition. Never give your power up to a reading. Um, but, you know, investigate that. Really figure out if that's what it is. That person's draining your energy, okay? Um, because I feel like you're denying it at first. At least you're denying it right now. All right. 
with the Taurus in reverse here, or the King of uh, Pentacles in reverse here, I feel like that's your lack of determination. I really don't feel like that's a person, but if that is a person, it can just say that that person's off their game. So maybe it's making you feel a little off your game a little bit, even though you've got this abundance coming in that you don't want to share. So maybe it's, and you know, maybe it's saying you don't share all your wealth with that person or this person. All right, so let's get some advice for this month. Oh, you got two. All right. So Virgo, what do we have for you here? We have the star ancestor. Follow the voice of your soul. Yeah, your intuition. That'll tell you who it is that is sucking the life out of you. Um, I do see abundance and I do see you making a choice, but I feel like you need to travel. Some of you might need to actually like go somewhere spiritual, like the pyramids or, you know, go to Mexico like Machu Picchu or something like that if you can, um, if you have the means for it. If not, you know, just getting out into nature, traveling somewhere where you can be alone for a day or two, okay, um, where you can really seek those soul answers. So you know what's right for you and what's good for you. Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. So this it goes right again with your crown chakra. Trusting in what visions you're getting. Trusting in the feelings that you're feeling. Trusting that um, you, that the universe and your soul knows what's best for you. And they know who isn't best for you. Because Spirit can hear every conversation you can't hear all right they can hear every thought that is thought about you and every conversation that is spoke about you and they know who has your true intentions and they know who doesn't have your true intentions so when they give you these downloads and these like um visions or these experiences trust trust that they are that they are real so use your own discernment, your own inner intuition here, because I really feel like you're going to be, your, act, your crown chakra is going to be activated really good, really good in December, okay? Um, don't deny the, the messages that are coming in for you. That's the last thing that I, I just, it just now heard that. Don't deny the visions or the feelings that are coming in. Let them come in and process them. Okay, well, we're going to get some love advice. Um, I normally have December, I normally have the monthly loves out by now, but I've been behind because I've had um, some, uh, I had to take a week off to recharge. So because of that, I'm going to pull a love card here so we can take a little piece, sneak peek into your love for December. I will be putting out December loves. They just might come out a little bit later as I try to take them up. <laughs> Alrighty. So, wow, I just blew cards everywhere. All right. <clears throat> Spirits, my guys, what can Virgo expect for love? What can Virgo expect for love for December 2019? Oh my God. I had like a bunch just like come fly out. Did you see that? It looked like spirit pulled it right out of the sack. All right. <laughs> Virgo. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So if you're with somebody, you know, this doesn't just have to be the person that you're with. It can be with your what you love to do, what you love to do personally. Okay. This can be, um, what you love. And you know, what's funny is that I'm also seeing the solar plexus chakra right here in the coloring. So this is like what you love to do. This could be, this also could be a partner. This could also be a partner, but allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you're going to be finding a lot of passion in December. And I feel like that's because you're listening you're going to listen, start listening to your crown chakra. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So for a lot of this, you know, with this and passion together, I feel like if your romantic life right now is suffering a little bit 
or you might feel like your partner doesn't get you or you and your partner are on the opposite pages. I feel like this is saying, stay optimistic about it. There's some new passion that's coming in with this relationship, okay? Um, relationships have their ups and their downs, okay? Stay with this. Stay optimistic about it. And then calling in your soulmate. So for a lot of you, because you are getting this crown chakra activation or up, 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 upovation, whatever, <laughs> upovation, um, you're calling in your soulmate. You're calling the one that's on the same page as you. Now, some of you, you might have got there before, and it's like you're with this person, and you, you, um, you provoke them to want to change themselves to want to change them you know but but you don't do it by telling them they have to you do it by changing yourself so it's like your vibes automatically like your partner feels it and wants to be on a higher vibe wants to be on your vibe you know what i mean just by changing yourself so it's calling in your soulmate it's bringing in passion and they're saying you know stay optimistic about this because this is good here for you okay virgo well those are your messages that's all the downloads i'm receiving i hope you all have a wonderful december and go go travel do some traveling do some stuff that you really like okay that you're really passionate about you have some wealth coming in towards the end so um keep that for yourself that should be yours you earned it okay well, I hope you all have a wonderful December and until the next video, love y'all. Bye.